Alright, let us quickly review some of the concepts we've covered in this GIS tutorial. We discussed the interface first. On the top left hand side, we have our various layers that we can add to the map. We went through every layer but the event layer. We can add facilities, add health data, and add other supplemental information to the map. On the right hand side, we can then add and remove layers as required. We can also zoom in to the map and search different locations on the map. If I want to search, I'll click on the magnifying glass and look for my location. We can add in additional supplementary layers by using the Google Earth Engine or the external layer. Let's add an external layer as an example. We can also add in boundary layers, which allow us to add in the administrative boundaries of a particular location that we're interested in. We'll just remove the background layers from the map, and we'll add in the boundary layer. We can also add in thematic layers which include information about our health data. Note that the selection of data and periods is a little bit different when compared to pivot tables and the data visualizer. First, we select our data and periods together, followed by our organization unit. Typically, we work with the select levels method of selecting organization units in the GIS application. If I go to options, then we can define our different options. We have the legend type, the classes and method, the color scale, and the low and high color size of different points as applied to the map. We can also add in labels and change the aggregation type. You can see when I update the map, the legend is then applied to the map based on the individual options we've selected for that particular thematic layer. Depending on how our data looks, we can always change how the data is displayed, depending on the options that we select. These are important considerations when making maps within DHIS2. Alright, this ends the GIS session. Please give the exercises a try and let us know if you have any additional questions.